Well, hello there. So, I cleaned up my room and yeah, so there were a lot of comments uh, lately about the state of my room in a video I made, must have been two years ago, maybe three years ago, um, saying, well, this is, I, I cannot remember the title of the video, it was something like, this is life as a neat or something like that. I'm still a neat, but now I cleaned up my room. So, I decided to make a video about the state of affairs since, uh, well, the last uh, video I made, I cannot remember if it, if it was the one about the SCSI box or the one that said I would soon make a video. I'll address that in this. Um, however, as of right now, uh, let's. I, I want to make a little vlog since I haven't really uh, talked about what has been going on in my life uh, for, I don't know, a couple of years. So yes, this is my room. I decided to make a, a room tour uh, too. So I don't have a very wide angle lens on this camera. So yeah, uh, this is it pretty much. It's it's not a big room, it's all right. Um, but I have, you know, my things. Um, I have the stereo system composed of many many components the speakers are hanging off the corners right there I know that's not how you uh, put up speakers but uh, they sound fine incredibly fine uh, but yeah so yeah that's the stereo I have some laser discs here because I don't have a better place to put them um, Betamax player and VHS player, uh, these VCRs are not connected to anything right now, well that one's connected to power because it makes for a nice bedside clock, uh, I can actually see the time um, when I'm, well you know, in bed. So these are not connected to anything, they used to be connected to some switch um, and then an HDMI scaler. As a matter of fact, the 5 meter HDMI cable that runs from over there to here is still there. Uh, but I changed monitors and now that piece of crap right there doesn't um, accept HDMI signals. At least not the ones that my scaler outputs. Yeah, turntable. Of course, no stereo system is complete without turntable or a mini disc player, of course, a mini disc deck. Eh, like, Every stereo ne needs a mini disc um, deck, of course. More laser disc. The these are shovelware. Most most of them. Um, these are all documentaries about wildlife and sea life and all that. The transfers are awful. Documentaries themselves are pretty good though, but I have more of them there. There's like ten there. Another 10 here, another 10 here. These are classic films, which were sold as a pack-in with players too. And yeah, Thankfully these, uh, even though they're Spanish ones, and there was a law in Spain that said all Spanish media, well, all media that got into Spain had to be translated into Spanish. Thanks to some clever thinker, uh, these are mostly old films, so they're in, in mono. Uh, some somebody was thinking and they used one track for the original soundtrack and the other one for the dub so yes that's why I'm keeping those these are uh, mostly operas and ballets and stuff like that I have some demo discs here um, I have this one just like autumn picture or something like that uh, I have anime on, on laserdisc some, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation for this, but Urusei Yatsura, I think uh, that's how you pronounce it. Pretty entertaining anime. It's not um, the deepest thing in the world, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, gets into mythology, Japanese mythology, uh, very often. Pretty interesting anime. Uh, yeah, there's a Pentium box right there. This is one of the first. Uh, P5 Pentium boxes um, 
I think it's a socket 5 system. It had a Pentium 75 in it. I think I upgraded it to a Pentium 100. I think it has a 120 in it, but it only the motherboard only runs it at 100. It had no sound card. I put a sound card in it. I think it runs Windows 3.1. Yeah, 3.1 uh, for workgroups, even though it had no network card. I installed that, but yeah, it already had work groups installed so that was nice TCP IP uh, without having to you know go to uh, the territory of windsock and all that kind of stuff these are just spare parts these things just break down with time um, when you pull on them they start breaking down up here I have expansion cards tons of them more expansion cards, uh, I have, well, graphics cards, mostly PCI and ISA stuff, there's some AGP cards uh, there too, I don't think there's a single P no, actually, there's one PCI Express card, there's that one, which is a Radeon X1350 uh, or something like that, some low-end graphics card I use to test machines, some cassette tapes right there, these are all uh, sealed, uh, I haven't recorded anything on them because I stopped using a Walkman, uh, Walkman some years ago. I moved on to Minidisc. These are the Minidiscs I listened to and this is the Minidisc Walkman I used. Uh, but then I got a phone with a proper headphone amplifier and I stopped using that too. So yeah. Moving on. This shelving is, I think, new. It hasn't appeared on video before. These are all my cameras. I have a video about them. These are CPUs for SIF based uh, power Macintoshes. So that's that one on top is a G4, a 400 megahertz G4. The one on the bottom is a, uh, I think a 233 megahertz G3. Yeah, they both work. I think if I haven't sapped them right now with ESD. Records, I have records, I don't know, I listen to music, so I buy records. Um, lately, uh, I bought one that I uh, really wasn't expecting to get a physical release, but Spirit Phone by Lemon Demon, listen to this crap, very good, very synthy, very 80s. The remaster on this, great job, I usually don't like remasters, but awesome. Books. I actually don't know any pearl. I have to. I found this for one euro and I bought it because I guess it will come in handy if I ever have to hack together something for a Unix system. Uh, yeah. Uh, MS DOS manuals, basic manuals. Um, this is the user's guide for the TV card of my uh, Performa. My Macintosh Performa, which came from Finland, <laughs> incredibly enough, it uh, it was it lived in Finland for a while, then it went to Estonia, and then it came here to Spain. And this is some yeah Avid Video Shop for edi editing uh, video on that machine. Let's get to the computers. This is my XT. I have a video about it. it has a generic. Uh, Turbo XT motherboard with an NEC V20 in it. I did not do that. I would have left it in its original state had I had it in that state. Also, I didn't put this... Well, I put this drive there because it came blank. It already came with a, a half-height... Is that half-height? I think so. A uh, 5 and a quarter inch hard drive. Uh, 5153 monitor, standard CGA little train. I'm actually not sure who made this locomotive because it uses a three um, a three rail system rather than a two rail but it's not, it's not a Marklin because it uses DC rather than the AC system that Marklin used but it's also not a Triang uh, because well it's a German locomotive it clearly it's not British but it's also made in Germany so I don't know the I think these are uh, some kind of British um, carriages, well, cars, I guess. Um, I have some graphics cards here on top. Don't worry, I won't turn the machine on with these on top of there. This one's from an, a Power Mac 9600, I think. 
Uh, there's a name audio, audio file card or something down there and there's a Yuko uh, VGA EGA card which I'm, I have to replace a memory chip on that's that one's going into this machine uh, my RGB lighting of course there's that there, here's the remote it uses RF and yes moving on this is some contact cleaner because it always comes in handy especially with you know this amount of potentiometers in my room uh, it always this always comes in handy so I have it laying around here uh, this is my phone. It's actually connected to the landline. Uh, well, it's not really. We don't have a landline any anymore, so it's connected to my router, which does VoIP, and it has the cable hanging off here, so I can take it because it has a nice handle. I can just take it here for long calls, and I can just do them from my bed. <laughs> yeah, this is a Citesa Heraldo from... Uh, 1967 I think uh, this was engineered actually in a building not far from here uh, it was uh, in the Standard Electric uh, it was a division of the Standard Electric uh, that was here in Spain by the way that's not my phone that's not my phone number um, this this is from the previous owner and I decided to keep it if I ever get one of those Dymos that actually print like this, I have one of the newer ones which do thermal printing. Um, if I get one of those Dymos, I will replace it because I'm sure the plastic under this looks like crap. Um, this one's fully restored, so again, it it's fully working and it, you know, I greased up all the mechanism and it, it's it's a really nice phone. It sounds really good. Um, let's see. Cheapo monitor, this is some kind of LG Studio Works, whatever. That's because it's connected to a cheapo computer. Um, this is a Macintosh LC. One of the worst Macs ever. Um, it's limited to 10 megabytes of RAM, I won't go into it. It's a crappy Mac. And this one is in a, let's call it, um, state of disrepair. Right now, it has an ATX power supply hanging off its back. Um, it doesn't have any sound, so it's completely mute and deaf uh, because the capacitors on the motherboard have gone. And I think that's about it. Oh, well, I mean, it, it has an LC uh, PDS upgrade card installed, uh, an FPU, a 68882 um, Motorola FPU card. But that's about it. I wanted an FPU slash Ethernet. A card for it because right now it's doing local talk directly to my Power Macintosh G3 but uh, those are expensive so up here we have this METS Mechavision camera with its docking station this is a great piece of engineering right now it's working I think uh, some power regulator in it died uh, certainly it has bad capacitors at least one it's very complicated inside like you wouldn't imagine how uh, this machine is but I hope I can fix it one day it's a beautiful piece of engineering it's a uh, video 8 camcorder some Talgo carriage because I like trains have you noticed that yes um, this is the monitor that goes to the power Macintosh G3 that's on the bottom of it of course this keyboard and mouse are the ones that I use these are ADB, so I use them for the Power Macintosh and the LC and any ADB Macs uh, because they're the only ADB keyboard and mouse I have. Uh, this is a La Ciela, -ci -la I have no clue how you pronounce that. Electron Blue 19, it's an Electron Blue 2 19. It has a Diamond Tron tube, it's an absolutely incredible display. I have it calibrated, this thing is stunning good. Okay, moving on. How many times have I said that? Doesn't matter. Power Macintosh G3. This right here, I do believe it is the fastest Power Macintosh G3 on all of Earth right now. Um, it has a Radeon 9250 graphics card, PCI of course. It has SATA, USB, Firewire 400. Um, it has 10100 Ethernet, even though that's not much of an upgrade. It has a combo drive. It has an SSD in it, 
It has a 1.1 gigahertz uh, power PC G4 CPU <clears throat> with one meg of L3 cache. <clears throat> Sorry. It has, um, I think, a 120 gigabyte main hard drive. It's triple booting Mac OS 9.2.2. Uh, Mac OS 10 Tiger and Mac OS 10 Leopard. This thing is running Leopard, yes. So the thing is, this machine. Uh, I keep trying to making. I keep trying to make uh, videos about this machine, but every time I shoot the video for it, I make an upgrade after that, and the complete the video just gets completely outdated. And I've tried, and I've. The last time I actually tried editing editing it and I have a half finished version of the video about this thing made but it's not there yet um it's it's complicated when you have the I I really want to make a fancy video with B-roll and all that stuff about this I have the B-roll shot already but when you have the limited resources that I do have, uh, it's hard to make a video, mainly because, well, my camera is almost 10 years old at this point, um, I don't have proper lighting, I don't have, I don't know, I have proper lenses though, but they're not even autofocus, so that's something, they take uh, quite a bit of skill to get used to, that's it. That's it for this machine. Not talking about that anymore. That right there, apart from my silhouette right there, this is an Amstrad monitor that uh, I got with an Amstrad CPC 6128. I exchanged that uh, CPC for this part of Macintosh uh, 6320. So the monitor is left without its original computer and I think that will be forever that way. Sorry. I have the TV tuner for it, even though it's in the workshop. I'm modifying it to make a composite input uh, to it. This is my LaserDisc player. It's a very basic machine. It's a Pioneer CLD1850. It's a multi-system machine, so it does PAL and NTSC, so that's how I managed to import um, anime and films from the United States and all that kind of stuff because this does NTSC uh, yeah it's a very basic player, it does nothing really that's a Trinitron, it's an, a Multiscan E220 I have this one connected to my scaler which is that little blue box, I don't know if you can see it down there uh, I use this for watching laser discs uh, let's see my monitor, right here, main monitor, this is an Apple uh, Cinema HD display, it's 1920x1200, IPS display, 100% sRGB, beautiful colors, as you can see of course it has some backlight bleeding because it's an IPS uh, display. This is a beautiful uh, display, however, it's very picky about signals and um, it has lots of ghosting, lots of ghosting, so yeah not good for video games. Uh, trackball. I don't use a mouse, I use a trackball. I don't have the desk space required for a mouse. I also have a 10 keyless keyboard. I got this thing, it, I think it's a Keycool 87 something or other. It's RGB and all that kind of stuff. I hate that. Uh, it has uh, some Cherry MX Black clones. I don't know. I got it for ten bucks. It was the cheapest ten keyless keyboard I could get, so I bought it. It's actually very good. Once you get used to linear switches, it's very very good. I was using a very tactile keyboard um, before this uh, BTC fifty one forty, which is a rubber dome uh, with slider keyboard. Those are awesome rubber dome keyboards. Um, but it had a numpad and I was a bit cramped here. That's my phone. It's a Motorola Moto E 2015 something held together with tape around the perimeter because the um, The adhesive around the display uh, Decomposed and a new display is 25 uh, euro for it and I'm not spending I mean I'm not buying an entire new display when the display is perfectly fine uh, and it's just the adhesive that went bad. It also had a bad battery. 
and well I took the opportunity that you know that the glue disintegrated so I just took the display off replaced the battery which was I think six euro and it's performing like new that thing well except it now runs a mod more modern Android version that's what I was drinking that's a clock powered by water funny thing about this thing um, I don't actually know how it works really um, it uses water in some way shape or form I bought this thing in 2011 this thing is eight years old it's set to change the water every six weeks however six weeks passed and it was still working six months passed it was still working six years passed and it was still working so I put that water in there in 2011 and yes it's still working so I don't know is that some free energy uh, con uh, like com conspiracy we can get out of that I don't know but that thing's been running on the same water for eight years now great um, this is my pile of stuff that needs to be um, reallocated to other places so that's that's the SCSI box this is a Power Macintosh 6320 CD I have a video about that um, some heat sink, some SCSI cabling um, some hard drives, One of the, those two are SCSI yeah that thing I, I'm not actually sure what it is but I mean it's it's clearly a a football you know ball with a with a face on it but yeah um this is a Radeon 5870 Ifinity 6 which a friend gave me uh, because he upgraded to an RX 570 something you haven't seen uh, from my room uh, those are all books from my high school which is when I started being a neat after high school and I haven't removed them they've been there for I think five or six years yeah um Consoles. I actually have tons of consoles. Um, I used to be into retro. Well, it wasn't retro gaming back in the day. It was just old consoles. But I used to be into old consoles uh, when I was a kid, and I collected them. And all, everything old I found, I collected. And I have well, lots of old consoles. So these are these were actually current when I was a kid. These are Nintendo DSs. Um, I well, this one's a DSi. Uh, Game Boy Colors, these are two Game Boy Colors, um, this is a Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Micro here, that's the shell of a Game Boy Color that I use for spares, this is the first console I ever had, or the first computing device I ever had actually, an, or an original Game Boy, would you look at that, whoopsies, yeah the glue has disintegrated on that too, so if you thought the mobile phone thing was, yeah, that's lost, rip, Oh, actually, let me, there we go, yeah, have to glue that back on properly. So yeah, that's the first console I ever had, crazy for Generation C, like me, but yeah. So N64 controllers, the N64 is actually down there. Um, Mega Drive with a Mega ZD2, it actually has the extension, uh, and this is a VA0. Um, Mega Drive, so it has the best sound of any Mega Drive, and it also has best RGB output, and it has a serial port in the back uh, for connecting the modem. Not many Mega Drives have that. In fact, this is the only model that does. Game Gear games. I used to have a Game Gear uh, that died completely. It, it was not the capacitors. I replaced the capacitors on that. It some IC died in it and. It stopped working completely. Game Boy Camera. This is a Pokemon Mini. I have all the all the four games that well. I think it was four or five. I have four of them. Uh, games that were released in Europe for it. They're in this box. Um, this under here. This it's all Game Boy games. I have. That's a Twin Famicom. That's a PlayStation One. That's I think that's a seventy five oh two. Uh, that's an NES, two other PlayStation 1's, one of them is the audiophile mode, model um, That's a PS2, under there is what's technically a PS2 but it actually is um, 
a debugging station for a PS2. It's pretty much a PS2 with a modified firm firmware uh, from the factory which does memory dumps over Firewire. Uh, that's a Super Famicom, not a Super Nintendo, an actual Super Famicom I imported from Japan. That's um, Master System 2, the later version with Sonic the Hedgehog in it. Video games, cartridges, um, games in general, boxes, um, there's the box for the PlayStation, the Mega Drive, the Mega CD, some Wii accessories, stuff like that. There's this wall here, and all this, I have tons of comic books there and stuff like that. They're Spanish comics, comic books, um, yeah, you wouldn't understand, we have some weird sense of, hum sense of humor. There's trains there, because I like trains, actually. A lot. Uh, this is just stuff that I've been ac accumulating over the years. Uh, the rear speakers for my quadraphonic, quote unquote, quadraphonic system. Some blank VHS tapes. Um, this TV I used to watch things when I'm bored. I used to have a computer connected to it. Right now it has nothing connected to it. Um, some decorative stuff. Betamax tape, because beta, um, picture of my cat, the sales brochure for the Performa, that one, a uh, laser disc brochure, I have a memory expansion, ISA card thing, uh, cassette tapes, I don't know, these are pre-recorded ones that I have, and these are some other pre-recorded ones I have. An advertisement that came with one of my Walkmans. Walkman? I don't know. And a uh, picture disc edition of Breakfast in America, which is an album I really love. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the room, and that's about it. So, I cleaned it up, finally. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, that's a typewriter. That's a po- uh, well, I was gonna call it a pocket time typewriter. No such thing, I don't think. Um, but that... I use every now and then. My camera is about to overheat, I can feel it. Uh, that's a mouse I have ready because I... This mouse right here, the first optical mouse ever. I bought an iMac G3 uh, Ruby. I actually have to enter my password. Let me... Yeah, well, I have one minute left, so yeah. I bought a G3 iMac. So... That's been my room, and that's the state of affairs of it, ITT Fami. You can call me Fami if you want. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thanks for uh, coming along for this little ride.